So I'm Jeff Carnes, I'm one of the urologic oncologists at uh, Mayo Clinic, uh, Department of Urology in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, we were a site for the SELECT trial and enrolled numerous men and have been following them and will continue to follow uh, the men uh, during their course of follow-up. The SELECT trial was a selenium and vitamin E cancer prevention trial that was uh, undertaken in, in 2001, involved over 35,000 men at various institutions, it was funded um, uh, federally uh, through the NCI, and sought to substantiate other studies that have shown a, de a, ne a decrease in prostate cancer development um, where prostate cancer wasn't the primary endpoint. So they started the SELECT trial to try to answer the question, does vitamin E or selenium, or perhaps both of them, decrease the incidence of prostate cancer development. So it was a forearm trial with equal amount of men getting vitamin E, vi uh, selenium, vitamin E and selenium, or a sugar pill such as a placebo. And the trial was uh, at five and a half years when they shut the trial down because they were seeing an increase in the prostate cancer development with vitamin E takers uh, alone and an increase in diabetes and selenium takers alone. So then they watched them in for another year and a half, and at seven years, they saw a statistically significant increase, actually counterintuitive, of prostate cancer uh, development in men taking vitamin E only. Uh, a way to look at this is out of 1,000 men, the normal incidence is about 65 men developing prostate cancer, which was also seen in this trial with the men taking the placebo or the sugar pill. However, for men taking vitamin E, about 11 new cases were seen per 1,000 men, so 76 cases per 1,000. This represents an increase of 17% um, over placebo alone, which was not felt to be by chance or uh, statistically significant. Um, therefore, the recommendations are not to take uh, vitamin E to prevent prostate cancer at this dosage. The dosage is at 400 international units. The studies that had shown a decrease in prostate cancer had used a much lower dosage of approximately 40 international units. Uh, and like I mentioned, this was not to look at prostate cancer as an endpoint. Uh, I think there are other studies to suggest that vitamin E at these high doses should not be taken to prevent cardiovascular outcomes as well.